to uh, Teddy's Bigger Burgers, and uh, we'll have some burgers and share a shake. And it's crazy because we actually named our dog after our first date. I was definitely very shy, um, kind of intimidating a little bit. Uh, she was strong and she she knew what she wanted and she talked a lot. So I really just had to listen, but she made it easy by, by doing that. We went to Teddy's Burgers because um, I was craving a burger that day. And then I believe we went to Waikiki after. I wanted to do some shopping. It was more just like, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? And I, and I actually, you know, wanted to do some errands, so I did some shopping. <laughs> and we just got him around, and then we went to Dave and Buster's after and played. So again, he just did whatever I wanted to do, but he had fun. Um, so it was a nice day. <laughs> after we've been together so long. I'll say like her being so independent, me being gone so so much, it really really helps when she's strong and holds me down when I'm, you know, in the middle of the ocean. Uh, and how loving she is, she never she never misses a beat with me. So she always knows when I'm upset, I'm mad. She she pulls it out of me. He's really motivated when it comes to work. He just goes beyond um, what's expected of him and just see it because he gets recognized and promoted so quickly and he motivates me as well doing what he does. Second thing I love about him is that he's thoughtful. It's very hard to find a man or a guy that can actually um, understand um, what it means just by the look that you give to him or um, what you're actually going through when you're feeling down. Um, and then last thing, he is very loyal to his friends. So I want to touch on that as well because he will text them back, call them back right away. And that's something that's so rare to find out too. Because I I don't do that. I don't text back. I don't he called back right away with my friends. Um, very guilty, but he does that. Um, he always follows up with everything. So he proposed to me in Maui. So prior to that trip, um, I kind of had an inkling that he it was going to be the Maui trip that he would be proposing. No, she had no idea. Uh, this time. Um, <laughs> so um, I got my nails done before the trip um, and then he had just gotten a haircut a week before but then he got a haircut again um, that week or a couple days before our trip so I'm like okay he is planning something that's not fair that he's getting a haircut again um, and then we went on our trip um, a day went by we did our activities another day went by and I was kind of feeling upset. <laughs> it was really funny too because right before then she was crying about how we're not engaged yet. And I think that was the day I cried to him in the morning. <laughs> and just bawled crying, telling him like, why, what? Like, it was like nothing. This is just another trip. <laughs> this is just another trip. And he just let me cry for like half an hour. And he said, it will come, it will come. You know, it's in the plans, it's in the works, like, it's, I'm not leaving. I told her dad, and then I had a photographer, kind of, she didn't know about. On that beach, there was a couple doing their wedding shoot, so there were a lot of photographers on the side, so I didn't think any of it. Um, but when he proposed, one of the photographers were, was actually ours. So, it was so nice, he set it all up. I took her on the beach, to walk down like this really nice wooden walkway and then uh, we got to the beach and I, I dropped on one knee yes she said yes <laughs> definitely be back here in Hawaii um, hopefully one or two kids by, by then and then you know Athena has always strived for greatness so a great career and you know, I have about 15 years left and in the military, so. I want us to have kids. We're trying. I want to have a family. Because um, we had a 
baby, but we lost it. Yeah, so I think we're very excited again to try again. So I think that's just the goal ahead. Um, with the military, I'm feeling like home is just wherever he is. Whether it be Hawaii or San Diego, it feels a little weird when he's not around. Because um, I came home early for this wedding. Um, but it still felt a little off. So I think at that point I realized that home is just where he is. I just like to be together. Yeah. I don't really think I could function, to be honest with you. Like, she's literally the running other half of uh, what, I'm, what I'm missing. So she keeps me together. I think it would be spe pretty speechless. We talked about it a lot because it's always a possibility um, with him in the military. I think he's always wished for me to just stay strong. I mean, I've, I think I've shown him what I can be and what I can do um, while he's on a long deployment. And so that makes him confident that I'll be okay. Um, but there's a lot that I feel like I can't do without them. Yeah, but I think I'll be okay knowing that he wants me to. I think we've talked a lot about we talk about it a lot that he wants me to be okay. Mm -hmm. This is the part I'm bad at, right? Here. <laughs> I just want to tell you that I'm really excited for this day, and I'm really excited for what the future holds for us. It's always been good things, even when we've been through the bad. I just want to tell you I love you, and I'll always be there for you. Jonathan, babe, oh my gosh, we've gone through so much um, in the little bit of time that we've been together, but here we are. Um, it's kind of a dream that we've had for a long time. I can't wait to marry you. I can't wait to be with you um, forever and always. Um, I love you and you know I can't really live without you. Thank you for everything too. Thank you.